Good afternoon everybody and welcome into the shop on a rainy Monday afternoon. We got to really start uh, increasing our output here in the shop now that I'm starting to get on the uh, road to recovery and feeling pretty good after those stomach issues. I feel like I got to make some real headway here and really clear off some projects. So one of the things I want to do is uh, finish up the Sony STR7065 and last time we were able to uh, do some work on replacing electrolytics on the amplifier board and uh, as a result due to some that had uh, gone bad we now have full output to the speakers. One of the other issues we need to address though is what's going on with the tone board and let's go ahead and flip this around here and we'll bring this in now. See if I can flip that. Let's get a little light on it. And the tone board is a very hard thing to access. This is the amplifier board that we recapped last time and that turned out really nicely. But there are some caps and the tone boards are not really made to access too much on these on most any stereo amplifier with discrete components like this one has because well there's rarely things that go wrong but if you look down let me get this stabilized for a minute if you look in this area back under here though we have uh, two sets of caps that uh, have some problems to it and I think that's a big uh, big part of why the tone why we're having some interstation problems with a lot of uh, distortion and stuff so I want to change them out and then this other, uh, this is a little secondary, <coughs> secondary tuning, uh, tuning board here. And I want to go ahead and uh, change out the caps on them. Some of them uh, look a little leaky. So I've got the uh, desoldering iron plugged in over there as well as the uh, soldering iron. So we're going to be very careful here. This is very difficult to access. And one of the things that I did to try to and I need to work from this side. I've taken the bottom off of the unit now so that I have some access along the side here. I want to be very careful to protect the face plate. That's the real money part of this whole thing. So let's get started, okay? You might be able to see down the down in here. Yeah we got the forward position out there. Big problem is and the thing you really got to be careful of here is the uh, you're now working back underneath of the uh, chassis where it's bent to accommodate the screws. So again, have to be very careful doing this uh, this type of work. I'm going to also strongly suggest when you're doing this kind of work to make sure you're using uh, safety glasses. I'm in an up and down sort of position here and holding my head sideways. It's very easy potentially to get sprayed with a piece of uh, hot solder. Uh, here using this solder sucker so just be very careful okay you only get issued two eyes you got to take care of them. I'm always amazed at how much more efficient manufacturing of electronic components is you can see the size difference between what's coming out and what's going in there so it's uh, probably about 60% uh, smaller here, so I'm going to go ahead and get these in a position. I may actually be able to do these from the bottom, but I will try to place them from the top. I won't win any beauty prizes, but you can see them uh, positioned in there, those two. And what a difference it makes in the uh, sound, I'll tell you. So much cleaner now. I'm liking it already. Right. completed that on the front end now we have the secondary uh, I think this is a secondary tone control board here got a lot of interplay with the upfront controls in terms of filtering and everything else and uh, some of these electrolytics could be bad in here I'm just gonna go ahead and change them all out quite a few of them here 25 volt. I mean, I've just checked the different values here, so it's a lot of them. Let's just be patient and get it done. Make sure your power is off. Desolder these. Sure you get it good and hot. 
you can follow behind a little bit with the soldering iron on the bottom just in case they're a little stubborn pull it right out just like that okay so our first one is a 47 microfarad 25 volts we'll go ahead and grab that let's talk about a few more cautions when you're doing a recap job don't assume Looking at your big grab box of various value replacement uh, electrolytic capacitors here, that everything is marked properly on the top and put into the same slot because I've already found two out of about eight that I've grabbed are in the wrong spot. So what do you need to do? You need to pick it up and you need to look at the actual cap itself for the voltage rating as well as the uh, capacitance. Very, very important. The other thing that you need to do when you're working around the set, make sure that the power is always off or you will short something out. And believe me, you will have a very difficult time finding where that short is because basically the whole board, the whole unit is your oyster at that time. So, you, you know, good luck to you. It's not a job that I want to undertake. The other thing to remember, too, is uh, often we're working around the um, um, tuner, uh, line here the uh, what they call the uh, tuner cord here when you turn the stations and it's a very mechanical thing that turns on a wheel that cord is made of nylon be careful of your soldering iron I can't tell you how many times in my past 20 years or so of doing repair work that I've accidentally brushed that cord with the soldering iron snapped it Result, I have all of the misery and agony of having to restring the uh, tuner dial and get it aligned, and it is a real, real mess. So be very, very careful and take your time. This is supposed to be pleasurable. This is not supposed to be work for most of us. Well, for me, it's it's kind of work, but keep rolling along. And uh, if it's not fun, then stop doing it and quit for the day, okay? Because uh, the chance of making errors is high. These boards are extremely delicate, especially when you get to the tone board uh, and the um, and the secondary uh, tuner control boards. They're not made to take out and be serviced, okay? It's a real rarity that we had the problems that we had this with our, our tone and distortions and all that. So the amp boards is a different story. They're like twice as thick as some of the other boards and their traces and foils much thicker. They're made to have replacement work done on them. So be very careful and be delicate we're about halfway through this particular secondary board so let's keep at it all right there it is one recapped uh board here another one here totally recapped on that one and i think this is tone control and i think this one is critically important before you reinstall it you want to check the back make sure you don't have any solder bridges or anything like that another great way to short everything out so i guess all in that took about uh 35 40 minutes to do that uh, board and you can tell how much smaller the components are compared to the electrolytics that came out it's like uh it's like night and day isn't it the march of technology so i'm going to go ahead and reinstall this and let's have a listen. fire up let's turn our uh very act on we're only going to start about 70 volts just to be very careful put the power onto the unit Make sure we have no smoking issues here. And a, a light is a very good way to detect that. If you, by the time you really see smoke, it's really too late. You've probably destroyed some components. So let's go ahead and take it up to about 100. And here comes our audio. Start down the aisle. Now it's down the dial. Now remember the big issue we had, of course, was the between stations was terrible it was so rough sounding it was like the tone controls were not working properly so let's go ahead and a new podcast from pri and instinct media about the end they're enhancing the power and profits of one of america's fastest growing and most profitable remaining domestic industries means for their recovery we must spare no pains Boy, to obtain that clean? the best medical advice you guys believe we how must clean assist that sound nature is? in every way Baby, don't let the nose and the ups and the downs from the roller. 
Man, that is nice. Meet you. Check that balance. Listen, we've cured that interstation horror. Real clean. What a beauty. this morning, right? All right, guys, success today. We really have a clean tune in it now, and I could not be happier. Next time, we got some lighting issues to do, maybe a little few more caps to change out, and then we'll get on to the cosmetic stuff. Thanks so much for being along on a Tuesday afternoon. Access to professional. Thanks, everybody. Thumbs up or appreciated.